This is Red Feather from Grapax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to text placing a curve within the text. For this, we will be using the Edit Brush Text feature. In our last text video, utilizing Edit Brush, I had briefly touched upon the Edit Brush feature. Some may find this feature a bit difficult, although really it is not. And like any other program, once you discover and utilize the function a few times, it is easy sailing. Open Krita, create a new document, click on Edit Brush, once the Edit Brush window appears, go to the Text menu and click. In the Krita Text area, delete the text and type what you would like to say. Go to the right to the scratch pad and give it a click to see what your text looks like. Notice mine is at an angle. If this is the same for you, Look at the menu to the left and take the check mark out of the curve box. Then go back to the scratch pad to the right and give it another click. The text should now be straight. In the menu to the left, make sure you click back on brush tip. Let us change the font size. In the text font area of the edit brush window, click the font button. Once the font window appears, adjust the font to the size you would like and or change your style. If for some reason the font window does not appear, minimize Krita to see if the font window appeared behind Krita. Once you are done making your font adjustments, click select. Once this is done, now would be a good time to choose your, the color of your text. To do this, just use your credit color picker as you would with, for any other brush. But keep in mind, I will only choose black for this tutorial exercise, although I will also be showing how to save this, this example with a clear background. If you would like to utilize the text with a clear background, you may wish to choose a different color, as I did with the one shown at the start of this video. Once you are done picking your Krita text color, go to your Krita brush toolbox and click on the ellipse tool and on your Krita canvas make a circle. This looks cool but it's not quite what we are looking for. Click on the edit brush so as to make further adjustments. Put a check mark in the Krita pipe mode and then off click the edit brush window. So to return to the canvas, once back on the canvas, draw another circle. A little better, but still not there. Click on the edit brush once again. Notice I unchecked the pipe mode for a moment. The reason I made this credit tutorial in this fashion is because if you have chosen a different font and or size, you could get a different result. So in this exercise, I am trying to show how to use the trial and error method instead of a straightforward on approach. Now in the credit edit brush window, increase the spacing and then return to the canvas and make another circle. Well, we're still quite 
not quite there. So return to the edit brush. Put the check mark back in the pipeline mode. Return to the critic canvas. Draw another circle with the ellipse tool. Ha! Much better. Remove any sample work from the canvas and click back on edit brush. Add some more spacing. Return to the canvas to see what it looks like. We are getting there. Return to the credit edit brush, adjusting the spacing once again. Then return to the canvas and give it another view. We are almost there. Now we can take a more precise look at our Krita text. Click on the Krita Edit Brush. Now this time, instead of using the slider bar of the space setting, we will use the up or down arrows. And while doing so, notice the text next to the brush icon. Adjust up or down until the letter formation is not overlapping one another. We will fix any other uh, spacing issues in a minute. Once you are done making this adjustment, return to the Critic Canvas. On the canvas, draw another circle to see how it looks. There we go. Clear the canvas if it is not already. Then draw the circle again. Now that the text is in a legible fashion, we can make further alterations to get what we want. So, go back into Edit Brush and click on Auto. And then return to the canvas. Now we will need to use the Krita Eraser tool. So click on the eraser and adjust the size of the eraser if necessary. Also, make sure to click on the brush tool so as not to be on the ellipse tool. Once you are done making these adjustments, go to the credit canvas and erase any items not needed. Once you are done erasing any items on the credit canvas, go to the credit toolbox, click on the outline selection tool. Go to the credit canvas, outlining items that are out of place. Then go back to the toolbox, click on the move tool, moving the items to their proper place. After moving an item, go to the title bar, clicking the selection drop down menu, clicking deselect. Go back to the toolbox, clicking the outline selection tool, outline the next item, then use the crit and move tool. Then go to, the uh, go to the selection menu on the title bar and deselect. Once you are done and happy with the adjustments made to the smaller items on the credit canvas, we will now move all the words on the canvas. After you have deselected, Click the Krita Outline tool again, this time outlining all the words on the canvas. Using the Krita Move tool, move them to the proper area you would like. Then deselect the item. In order to complete this Krita exercise, we will have to add a layer 
So go to your layers, go to the plus sign in the layers window, and click. Now you should have a total of three layers. Make sure you are on the layer you just created. Click off the eraser tool, then click on edit brush, and then click the text area of the edit brush window. Delete your first text and type what you would like to say. Take the check mark out of the pipeline box. Return to the critic canvas. Click in an area that appears to be proper. Click on edit brush and click on auto. Return to the Critic Canvas. In the Critic Toolbox, click on the Transform a Layer or a Selection Tool. There should now be a box around your new wording. Go to the edge, grabbing with your mouse, stretching and or expanding it to what appears to be a proper size. After you are done, Making these adjustments, go to the Rectangular Selection tool and click. Go to the Critic Canvas, drawing a box around the items you would like to move. Then, go to the Critic Toolbox and click on the Move tool, moving the items of the text to a proper area. Using the transform tool, once again, if needed, to make further adjustments. Once this is done, deselect the item. Now it is time to prepare the Krita text for export. Go to the layer area, click on the layer one, then click on the Layer Properties icon. In the Layers Properties window, move the opacity to zero, and then click OK. Click on Layer 3, right click, scroll down to Merge with Layer below. Then right click on layer 2 and scroll down to merge with layer below. Once all the layers are merged, go to file, scroll down to export, and click. Direct where you would like to save your exported text. Give it a name, Then click the drop down menu, scroll down to P and G, and click. Then click Save. When the PNG window appears, click OK. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not? become a subscriber, and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu one from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.